not quite, not quite. We're not ready yet. We still have a lot of time, but if you're not ready, I got the perfect place to come check out. We're here at the Color Bar, where we're learning all about hairstyles and then makeup tips. First off, I want to give out a shout out to Cameron, because you were talking about whoever, who came up with the term getting your face, face beat? Because that's what people say when your, your face is looking right. And he told me that it was a drag term, like drag queens, when they get dressed, he, has, yeah, he can smile that he's showing you, yeah. Uh, because they have to break through the hair. He did this, Tom, let me show you, he did this. They got to get through the stubble to get the face looking right. So it's like they, they have to really get in there to make it look good. So just so you all know that I'm just going to educate you because I learned that today. So we're here looking at the lovely Shay. She's our pageant queen we've decided this yes. morning. Erin is working on her. So tell me a little bit about this look that you've got going. So we did a lot of shimmer. With New Year's, we want a lot of shimmer, 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 beautiful gold on her eyelids. We did a lot of highlighting on her face. And then we did a nice, bright, bold red lip. I love it. And then if you want to add a little bit more sparkle to it, Ooh. you can add Who just doesn't like sparkle? a hint of glitter just to the middle. How do you keep that down usually? Do you have, because she looks like she's wearing a matte lipstick, which is kind of dry sometimes. She is. So I want to get it on there before it dries completely. Smart. There you go. Any other big tips for folks? You know, can I ask you, because I have a terrible time putting on lashes, yeah. what tips do you have for putting on fake eyelashes? Make sure that you get the glue on there evenly. And then make sure that you go ahead and do a little wiggle so that it gets rounded. Because most mm -hmm. of the time they're straight. Stick straight. Yep. Mm -hmm. So just round them and then place it in the middle and then work on your edges. Beautiful. I love this. So we also have one other look. Our lovely Jenny over here hanging out with Sandra. She just finished up her hair so she has a full complete look. Yes. So we're actually talking about the eyes. What are you doing with Sandra's eyes? Yeah, so again, just following with what Erin was saying, I'm using a lot of glitter in her eyelid. Um, so I just want to demonstrate how we apply it. I put a little bit of a, um, a um, the fix, you know, primer mm -hmm. on her on, and then on the brush too. So I apply it, you know, grab a little bit of it and then dab. So that's what ideally you want to do with glitter because otherwise it will fly away. That's what I was just thinking. Kind of it's kind of with the lipstick as well, right? Exactly, yeah. And in her case, you know, I'm playing with two different glitters. I'm putting a lighter one in the inner corner. And when you, the cool part about it is when you mix them together, you create these like almost like golden uh, tones. You know, so that way, you know, you have like a nice transition between the two colors. Um, but definitely, you know, you want to either wet your brush or use a uh, setting spray. Right? Love it. Okay. So if you guys need some help like I do, because let me tell you, I already booked myself an appointment for later today to get my hair done with Erin. Come down to the color bar. They have two locations here in East Sac and then as well as the brand new one down on Midtown. Exactly. And they also help you get your face beat, because I need that too. <laughs> Just saying, so it's a thing. Now you guys all know what beat face means. There we go. It's Send so it back funny. to you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, some of my friends are like, what do you mean my face is beat? I'm like, no, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> Thanks, Nat.